G'day everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to create those cool animated spinny logo thingies that you see on your favourite news production. Typically it's a logo of the news company that is spinning in the bottom left hand corner. Now as these uh, spinny logo things requires animation, you will need to have VMix Pro or 4K in order to use the animations in the GT title designer. So now we're going to show you how to do that, so I'm going to set up a new title here. Okay, so what we need to do is add an image. So select the image that you want to have for your cool spinny logo thing. So I've got my VMix cube image here. So this is a cube, uh, sorry, a square that I've created. It's a thousand by a thousand, as you can see here. And I put a board around the edge to make it look a little bit cooler when it is spinning. So I've selected that and I'm going to click OK. So you need to kind of choose where you want to put it. Now, typically, if you've got a lower third, um, you might want to put it on the edge of the lower third or within it or something like that. So let's just put it down here. Now, for an example, I'll just go ahead and add a like a rectangle as well behind it. Um, just to give you an idea of what it should, you know, what it can look like. Um, uh, let's just bring this down. So now we've got kind of a, a lower third that's kind of around it. Um, so we have our, our potentially spinning logo thing here. All right, so I've selected the image. Now what I'm going to do now is go to the format section and I'm going to go to geometry and change this to cube. Now as you can see here, we've got the width and the height of the, the cube. Um, when we dragged it, that's what it ended up at. So let's just round this off. Let's make it an even 180. Now what we're going to do is add some depth to it. So we do then have a cube. So I'm going to go 180 for this as well. So now what we've done is we've created um, a 3D image here because it now has depth. So it's 180 by 180 by 180. Alright, so now how do we go about animating this particular um, section here? So I'm going to go to the animation section, uh, make sure that I've got image 1 selected here, and then I'm going to go all the way down on the transitions list to continuous. Then I'm going to select rotate continuous and now as you can see we have a rotating logo thingo that we can use in our production. Now you might be thinking that's a little bit ridiculous so let's uh, let's slow it down a bit. Let's go ahead and slow it down even more. So there we go as you can see the shading as it spins around um, and it will go around 360 like that. Now we can change the angle of it as well. We can do a cool spinning you know, 3D cube thing if we want. Um, ideally, you know, it's entirely up to you what you want it to do, how you want to spin it. I prefer to kind of just spin it on one axis, um, like so, and maybe even do it even slower than that. Um, so that's how you can add it to your production. So that's how you add a cool logo spinning 3D thingo uh, to your production if you wanted to add it to your, your title. And then, much like you would with another title, you know, you go ahead and add, uh, you know, you can add content here. So now you've got your text block, uh, and then you can include this as a part of the entire thing. So let's just go back to transition in for this layer. Let's make it fly in from the side. Uh, and then let's make it the transition out, fly in, and now we'll try it. So now your full uh, element is good to go. So that's going to move in from the front and slide out from the side as well. So let's go ahead and um, add this into vMix. We'll see what it looks like. But first we should probably save it. I forgot to do that. So let's save it as spinner. And then we'll go to vMix and we'll add input title, you can go to recent, it'll be there, and let's just overlay this, so there we go, we've got our cool 3D spinning logo thing, and transition out. Alright, so that's how simple it is to create a cool spinning logo in your title, um, it's just a matter of adding the image, adding some depth to it, uh, and then we can go ahead and rotate it around. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to send us an email by the support page on vmix.com as it's very difficult to answer YouTube comments with technical questions. All right, so thank you and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. 
Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vMix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.